Welcome everybody to Explore Scientific Live. You've landed on our eyepiece collection page here, and we're gonna talk just a little bit about Explore Scientific eyepieces. Um, when I started the company, the, the genesis of Explore Scientific really started with eyepieces, and I wanted to do something uh, in eyepieces that was unique. Um, I had a long experience as a visual observer, love visual observation, love doing educational outreach. And so I wanted eyepieces that were durable, uh, that had a great warranty, um, and, uh, you know, was uh, uh, an eyepiece that could be compared to the best eyepieces out there. And so we started off with our 100 degree, eye, uh, 100 degree series of eyepieces. The very first one was a 14 millimeter. And uh, I'm happy to say now that our family of eyepieces has grown into many different lines, starting at 52 degrees apparent field, going all the way up to uh, a mind-bending 120 degree apparent field eyepiece. In fact, that 120 degree of apparent field eyepiece is the world's widest apparent field eyepiece there is. It's like looking into an eyepiece if, if you were to take your fingers and just look straight ahead until you could see your fingers on either side, that's how wide it looks. So that would be, I don't know, it's like sticking your head out into space from a spacecraft. It, it is incredible. Uh, but just as incredible is the uh, durability of these eyepieces. They are built, uh, a lot of people say built like a tank. Um, they're meant to be uh, uh, handled out in the field. They are meant to be, um, to survive uh, the environs of being outdoors. And that includes when it might do up, uh, if you were to somehow be caught in the rain uh, with your equipment, um, uh, if you are just uh, going to try to clean your eyepieces. You know, the, uh, I can't tell you how many times that uh, I've had to work with people that had, uh, in, in before I started to explore scientific, where they were cleaning their eyepieces and they dropped lens cleaner onto the lens and it went up and in between the lens elements. Once that happens or you get um, you get dew or humidity in between the lens elements. Uh, it can dry out, but it always stays trapped until you get the eyepiece taken apart, reassembled. Trust me, guys, you don't want to do this uh, because uh, uh, reassembling an eyepiece is, is, a, is a big skill all by itself. Uh, so we made the eyepieces O-ring sealed, waterproof, tested under one meter of water for 30 minutes, okay? We wrap that up with a warranty that's second to none. Our eyepieces are guaranteed forever. And that means all you have to do is register it with customer service. Every eyepiece has a serial number on it, okay? Uh, that's another thing you won't find in a lot of eyepieces is serial numbers, but we put it on every one uh, because we value our product and we think you do too. So um, register it with us, it's warranted forever. You could, your house could burn to the ground. If you can bring me the smoldering remains of your eyepiece, we will replace it for you, okay? Uh, if you like to trade your eyepieces, you wanna sell it, you wanna gift it, whatever, uh, that warranty could be transferred from you to the other person because we warranty this product and we, we hope that, uh, uh, that you um, enjoy using them as much as we enjoy servicing our customers with them. Anyways, uh, we wanted to demonstrate how we clean eyepieces. Mike, why don't, you, uh, why don't you give them a demonstration here? Yeah, so the process of cleaning of your waterproof eyepiece is pretty simple. So all we've got here is a bowl of water, we've got Dawn liquid detergent, uh, distilled water, and a can of compressed air. So we're literally just gonna take our eyepiece, and we're gonna dunk it into the water. Ah. No. <laughs> and you can leave it in there, kind of let it, uh, you know, get get uh, water on the optics right. there, kind of help clean it. Yeah. So when you dunk when you dunk a lens, just a raw lens in water, water can help loosen up uh, stubborn particles that might be on the glass itself. What you don't want to do is have like little sand pieces of sand or dust or whatever, and you're wiping it with a tissue because right. that can scratch the coatings, you know? So this, this is a lot more gentle way of cleaning an optic. But don't do this with anything else except for a waterproof eyepiece because of course the water would go inside the eyepiece and uh, that would be a big problem for you. Yes, it would. Not a problem for these. Um, so, uh, but uh, you could also have some other material on it like resins or you know pollutants or eye makeup oh, or definitely. 
peanut butter or whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever. The, the kids are out there, you know, you're doing uh, amateur astronomy on the sidewalk and people are looking, uh, uh, the eyepieces can get really dirty. Um, but uh, I think with that detergent there, that can help. Exactly. So once you've got it in the water, all you'll need is just a drop or two of the detergent. So not too much. And you go ahead and kind of shake it around, kind of mix it up. Mix the water with that detergent. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to pull your eyepiece out, spray it down with that distilled water. Yep, this keeps you from getting water spots. Then we can go ahead and kind of wipe off the body of the eyepiece, get some of that excess water off there. Mm -hmm. And then finally, clean off the optics with that can of compressed air. Then you'll Perfect. have a nice clean. Yeah, it's clean all the way to the edges. So just like it came from the factory. Anyways, uh, we're glad that you're here um, with Explore Scientific Live. We've got more to show you. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Thank you.